What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're here to take a first look at Star Trek Fleet Command. This is a free to play mobile game available on iOS and Android so you can play it on your favorite device. You can actually download it with the link down there in the description because today's video is being sponsored by Star Trek Fleet Command. Star Trek Fleet Command is an open world MMO so you can explore all around the Star Trek galaxy. I mean look at how far you can explore right here. I'm just getting started so I have a lot of work to do here but you can see like there is so much much going on in this game I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay over here in my little area so I don't get crushed or anything as we're starting to get going but there's so much to do in this game there's epic battle like the combat is really fun that might be my favorite thing in the game is the combat battling through here uh, let's see if we can find a battle real quick uh, while I'm talking about yeah let's go right here let's go ahead and let's attack this Orion slaver ship uh, it's got a strength of 428 where does strength of 460 uh, let's go with our main ship which has a strength of six hundred and seven that's right we're rocking two ships out here we can get multiple ships rolling but check this out guys it's really really cool to watch these battles so you can see you can actually watch your your uh ship travel in here and then come in and engage with combat and the nice thing is as you're the commander of your ship you're the commander of your fleet so you can make all the decisions what you want to battle what you want to take on and how you want to play the game oh look at that we defeated some hostile ships we're completing some missions out here and that's what i've been using is i've been working on these missions getting those awesome rewards because you can level up you can get new commanders you can you can get all kinds of great stuff for your ships if we actually go in here and we take a look uh right here at our base if we go to the interior, we can see all of the upgrades we need to do. So we got a lot of stuff to get going here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our operations, which this is actually like the main hub here. This is this is what's going to give us a lot of upgrades available. This is like our main base of operations. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the upgrade up to level 7, which is going to be really awesome. We can actually get some help right in here. And then we can actually start a research to get a little bit stronger. So there's a lot that you can do in this game. Let's go to the combat tree here and let's see if we can get our combat up just a little bit. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to have enough. For, yeah, we don't quite have enough. That's one thing I'm still working on. We're still trying to get some resources, but we just want to get something going in here in the research. We, we want to keep that research going if any game I've played similar to this, research is a good thing. You want to get stronger. You want to get researching those upgrades. That way you can go ahead and take everything out. And then the cool thing about this game is like, it's all based on what you do. There's millions of players in the game worldwide, but you can decide if like you want to be a, he a hero, if you want to be a villain, do you want to side with the clean guns? Do you want to take on the clean guns? It's really, really cool. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get going here. We can actually help out with our uh help out our alliance mates here uh, we got that going we can go in here and we can take a look at our ships we have two docks right now so let's go in and let's manage our ships let's take a look at these so we have two ships right now we have the orion corvette which i mean what an epic name for a ship look at that bad boy docked in there now i don't have enough officers uh for two ships actually i don't know i've been unlocking so yeah we don't have quite enough officers let's see if we can get a recruit going i think we have a recruit yeah we got one recruit let's pop this open oh we have two recruits let's see if we can get something new someone new to help us out on our ship crew oh montgomery scott uh, montgomery scott scotty oh man scotty help me out here all right so let's uh let's go ahead and pop open another one we can you see we get some upgrades in there which is really really awesome we can get that going all right so her uh, we'll get her leveled up so we can actually get a lot of uh upgrades going and make our ship stronger nice all right so let's go back here uh and let's see let's take a look at these guys Let's get some upgrades going, and it's like any other game. You're going to want to upgrade your officers. You're going to want to upgrade your ships. You're going to want to upgrade your base. Uh, that way you can just get stronger. It makes a ton of sense, right? So we're going to go ahead and upgrade her. We're going to level her up as well. You can see the attack stats going up, the defense, the health, and this is just going to make your ship stronger overall. And who doesn't want a stronger ship? Now, let's not use all of our upgrade stuff because we want to... We want to get Leonard McCoy upgrading as well. I'm not, I, I know like the general stuff about Star Trek. I'm still trying to, you know, learn a lot here, but uh, okay. So we're out of currency there, but we could see like we're getting our upgrades going and uh, we could, we could see that that made our ship just a little bit stronger there. And then we could actually go check out our other ship, the Rialta. This is my main ship here. Strength of 617. This one, I just kind of go around and uh, just take out everything. It's got some nice, 
attack and defense it's got a nice big shot increases the damage on the first shots by 25 percent per round it's got some enhanced shield in there so this is like my main go-to ship type deal here and i love using that one so as i'm trying to get the hang of everything and learn the game and understand everything what i've been really doing is just kind of leaning on our missions and like our daily stuff like i've been doing my daily goals you can see we got all the daily goals good check mark let's go uh but you can see like this kind of guides you through here so we got our operations we got that going up to seven now we can get combat training oh we could defeat uh defeat three level five or higher hostiles oh we could do that and then we could like one of the missions is actually build a new ship i don't think we're quite ready for that but if we go to our shipyard we can see all of the ships available here guys and we we don't quite have enough i think it was calling us first to uh build the ess fortunate here which looks like it's a mining ship which is going to help us mine some resources but we don't have we don't have enough stuff we got to get our shipyard up we, we got a lot of stuff to do here We'll get there eventually, but let's go out and let's battle. Let's battle some enemies. It said take out some enemies, and that is my favorite thing to do in the game. Now, I don't think we're going to take out a level 7. Yeah, they're a little bit strong. Let's Even with our main ship here, they're a little bit strong. But let's go in. I, I know we can take down a level 5. Let's let's go. Let's take down that level 5. I wonder if our other ship could take down a level 5. Mm, I don't see. I think we could even take down a level 6, but look at the combat here. All right, that wasn't a good... I didn't do a good job showing you the combat. Let's check this one. Oh, this should be a better battle. Let's, let's show you guys this one. So check out the combat. You'll see our ship flying over here. We're going we're gonna to fight these guys. We're going to take them out, brother. Let's go. All right, so we're going to take on this ship. And you can just see, like, oh, man, I love watching this. I love fighting. Uh, I think this is my favorite part of the game so far. But the cool thing is, oh, no, we got defeated. I probably needed to repair. That happens, guys. You got to make sure you repair your ship. I, I've done that a few times now where I forget to go back to my base and repair. So uh, sometimes you need to repair your ship. But I'm going to get revenge right here. Let's, 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 let's get revenge. We're going for him. Let's attack. All right. I need revenge. I can't be getting shown up in the video getting taken out by this enemy ship right here. All right. We're on our way. Come on. We're on our way. Oh, yeah, the Realtus is going to take him down this time. We're at full health. We're at full capacity. We're going to take him down. But I want to show you guys, like, also, like, how we can kind of explore through the galaxy, through the different systems, which is really cool. You can actually relocate your whole base, which is cool as well. So we see right there. Nice, cool. We won the battle. But check this out. Like, we can go anywhere here. Now, what we're going to have to do, let's take this base here. Or take this ship. Uh, let's just say we want to go over this way. We can set the course. And then we can just we can kind of just go out and explore. We can gather resources. You might have to travel for uh, missions and all that kind of other stuff. So there's a lot of stuff. Actually, I mean, speaking of missions, I think there's one where we have to go to three landmark systems. Oh, yeah. like So there's a lot of stuff based on your gameplay and like kind of getting through there. I should have probably uh, made sure I did that. It's okay. It's okay. So... There's a lot going on here, guys. We'll go over there. We'll check that out. You get some nice free gifts just as playing the game. Every 10 minutes, you get a nice little gift. You get four-hour free chest, a 24-hour free chest, seven-day loyalty bonus. You got to love it, guys. And then you can recruit more crew, which eh, we're still working on that. We're getting there. But you can, like, literally, you know, recruit from whatever faction you want. You can get some resources in here. A lot of cool stuff in star trek fleet command and right now in star trek fleet command there's a brand new update introducing the uss discovery a brand new ship in the game and the awesome thing is is the plan is to have the whole star trek universe in the game and playable so this is the first step step towards that with the uss discovery and along with that we're going to get some new commanders in the game as well so along with the uss discovery we're going to be getting some brand new officers in the game that you can actually recruit and play with yourself here as we see we got origins burnham we got michael burnham coming in there we got saru coming in we got paul stomitz coming in. i'll let you guys see the art but this update is massive not only are we getting a brand new ship we're getting a brand new officer but there's going to be some new missions to go along with this and a brand new unique feature with the USS Discovery that's never been done before in the game as we see the Saru might be my favorite officer from this new update getting some resources in here and then we'll see uh, Stamets coming in here in just a moment oh yeah check this out guys 
There we go. Origin Stamets right there. Beautiful. Now let's check out the USS Discovery and talk a little bit more about that. So the USS Discovery is going to be very unique. Unlocking the Discovery is going to give you the ability to teleport anywhere in the galaxy with no wait time. This is the first time this has ever been done in the game. It's an amazingly huge step. Like imagine being able to travel. You saw earlier, like I had to wait like two minutes to travel. You can go anywhere in the big whole galaxy with no wait time. And let me give you guys a little bit of background information here about the USS Discovery, a little bit of narration. When a spatial anomaly creates an extraordinary rift in the fabric of space, a ship, the USS Discovery suddenly appears. A man identifying himself as Paul Stamets demands to know the star date. Horrified by the answer, Stamets and his crew realize they have been displaced in the space time and enlist you to help them find a way home. To find out what happens next, you gotta complete the mission. So a lot of cool stuff right here and there'll be flash events up across the galaxy so you can use your discovery to earn rewards and progress through the latest battle pass so i know i have a lot of work to do to get to my own uss discovery here so i'm going to get out there i'm going to get to action i'm going to start taking down some enemies that's my favorite thing to do in the game is go out here and take down enemies so while i'm out here i'm out here fighting enemies taking them down battling make sure you guys go down to the description and download star trek fleet command yourself and if you do it here today you'll be able to get a brand new unlocked cadet saru at a uniform form theme frame so you're not gonna want to miss that guys what are you waiting for go down there in the description and download the game today and a huge shout out to star trek fleet command for sponsoring today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing while you watch that whole video here's another video that youtube thinks you'll like and here's a playlist of similar videos